Hey everyone, um, came across this uh, new subwoofer, well, I came across this subwoofer by Artcoustic. It's not a new model, it's actually out in um, 2004 um, previously, so it's around 15 years old now. But it's the Artcoustic Diablo Tech Plus One subwoofer. Uh, for those of you that don't know Artcoustic, it's a Danish brand. They pride themselves by making units that are hung on the wall, um, aesthetically very different from the normal speakers in that you'd normally find in uh, houses, um, uh, indistinguishable t from the furnishings that you would normally have. So these speakers are normally made to hang on the walls. They're normally around two and a half to three inches thick, but this is the accompanying Artcoustic Diablotech subwoofer. So just to give you an idea of the uh, dimensions very quickly, um, you've got this to be approximately 31 centimeters by 50 centimeters and quite a slim height of around uh, 18 centimeters uh, in height. So this can easily be slung uh, or slid under the sofa or behind a, 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 you know, a chair or even up against a wall. Quite nice and compact unit as you can see, uh, very well made um, uh, box. Um, quite a heavy unit for what it is. Um, and um, yeah, it's got this angle uh, look to it as you can see there to allow the subwoofer to reverberate to give you an idea of what it looks like on the other side um, it carries a 10 inch driver and it's one of the only uh, subwoofers in the acoustic range that is powered the others are all passive and you need a separate amplifier to run it so as you can see this is the acoustic Diablo Tech plus one so you've got the standard kettle lead your fuse on off power button uh, uh, diode to say whether it's on you've got your RCA subwoofer input your level uh, input as well as crossovers um, and your face switch 0 to 180 degrees and that's your heat sink for the unit itself like I said this is a uh, proprietary made um, 10 inch subwoofer for this unit if I'm not mistaken I believe Artcoustic use peerless um, speaker drivers um, at the same time um, be aware that uh, this subwoofer has a frequency response range from about 40 hertz to 120 hertz. So we'll do a quick uh, demo and test of the subwoofer capabilities. And um, yep, yeah, that'll be it for this video. So that's the kettle lead plugged in, power button on. On the inside, you've got the red diode. On the top, it's got a nice touch of a, a blue diode uh, on the front. Um, and like I said, this uh, woofer is designed to produce uh, very low frequency sounding from a small box, um, but sounds like uh, a unit almost four times its size. So just to give you an idea of the subwoofer itself. Let's take it out of the way, bring the lighting up. And uh, yeah, acoustic, um, quite a well-known range uh, a brand in India, in Europe. It's also spread to the US as well now. Um, and it's uh, very high end. Uh, some of the new uh, on the wall speakers, um, you know, uh, is the Spitfire range, uh, quite a high end in, in home theaters. Um, and uh, they actually come with um, grills that you can actually have um, bespoke. So you can send them pictures of whatever you might want. They'll print it on the acoustically or acoustically transparent material, pop it in the grill, and that covers the speaker itself. So uh, here we go, we'll play a quick track. let you know that this is a uh, uh, sealed box not a ported box
acoustic. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot of reverb on the box itself, on the on the driver itself, because this is a sealed box. Um, it's quite it's got quite a lot of dampening within it, and uh, yep, yeah, nice compact sub for a home theater with uh, uh, someone who needs uh, minimally intrusive uh, speakers. Thank you very much. Bye.